welcome to a Windows 8.1 first look at Xbox One Smart Glass. This is the official Smart Glass application for the Xbox One, the upcoming next generation console for Microsoft. Now as you can see here, this is the main interface. This is what you see after you go through that early setup process uh, when you first launch the app. Then you end up in this screen here. Uh, obviously your results may vary because obviously my profile is here and yours won't I mean you, my profile will not be on yours so this is what it looks like this is the main screen first thing you should know off the bat is that there isn't much you can do with this in fact there's pretty much nothing you can do with this right now until you get your hands on an Xbox one basically every feature will be locked out for one if you notice right here my avatar picture here it looks it looks like there's nothing there so when we click on my profile you see my tiny avatar picture here now they say the reason for this is because the Xbox one will have uh, more higher res avatars so once you first log into an Xbox or basically go on the website once the Xbox launches the Xbox one launches uh, you'll be able to update your avatar image to one that will actually fill up this full screen it'll be higher resolution so then you'll have a nicer looking avatar picture now while we're on this screen here on the profile screen I'm just going to show you a few things that you'll notice around the, um, the application itself for one you can see this connect to Xbox One uh, when you tap that uh, obviously there's no on my network because it's not out yet I tell you to try again you can enter an IP address just like that connect automatically so basically what that means is as soon as you open the app it'll automatically connect to that Xbox the cool thing about this app is that um, yeah, you can actually type in an IP address now. It's not just uh, find the console on your network. It's type in the IP address of the console on your network. So basically helps you out that way. If you have multiple Xbox Ones uh, around your house or wherever you are, and they're all on the same network, you no longer have to just be able to be tied into just one Xbox. Now you'll be able to have multiple Xbox Ones uh, tied to one uh, account so that's pretty cool so let's let's exit out of that all you hit is tap away from tap on the background or just hit escape like I'm doing since I don't have a touch screen and then more things you'll see here is a refresh button here basically if you had new content that showed up or new recent activity it doesn't I don't think it automatically will um, will update I think you just have to hit this refresh button unless this is just a fail safe in case that it doesn't automatically update then you can just tap the refresh in order to refresh also this is obviously the home button since it's shaped like a house and then the search button which lets you search anything throughout this app games movies music all that stuff so for instance um, if we type in say the walking dead you can see it automatically has um, suggestions here so if we type it if we want to we're looking for the walking dead which I was I can view all the things related to the walking dead and yeah, that have to be related, basically related to the Walking Dead, um, or the word "dead" or any of those keywords, "walking" or "dead." So you can see all that. If you want to click it, then you see that. You can see latest episode, which will jump you straight to the latest episode on your Xbox. So if you click on this, it'll jump straight to the latest episode, which was this episode here. And then if you want to hit play on Xbox One, it'll play on Xbox One, and then you'll you'll basically be able to use it just like that. Um, also, you can see cast and crew information, basically just the basic information that you would get on um, for The Walking Dead, your second screen experience. Otherwise, they probably just recommend you just use their AMC Story Sync app. But aside from the point is, yeah, you can search for anything you want. You can search for games, for instance. You can search for, um, let's say if we want to search for Titanfall. Let's see if Titanfall shows up. No, it doesn't show up. Okay, let's let's try to search for Rise, Son of Rome. There we go, Rise, Son of Rome. I don't know why I just typed in uh, Deluxe Edition, Rise, Son of Rome. There we go. Okay, now that I typed in Rise, Son of Rome and I didn't fail at it, uh, you can see multiple things about Rise, Son of Rome. They got they have uh, the DLC, you know, all the things you can download and purchase. You know, the credits and stuff. This is apparently gold that you can buy for in-game gold. Um, but if we want to click on the game itself, then you jump straight into the game screen where you can uh, you can hit play on Xbox or you can just scroll through and just take a look at the application. You can see all the various DLC and add-ons uh, that is available currently. You can see your achievement progress. Um, these dots down here is just to view more. So if you want to view more, 
uh, then you can scroll through if you had any game clips saved you can scroll through see community clips you can see all these community clips here unfortunately I don't know why I kinda don't understand why there are already community clips even though the game's not out yet it just there are, there's like a buttload of community clips like this guy already has five so let's take a look at his So basically, as you can see right there, you can view videos right into the application. It doesn't necessarily have to push it to your console to make it work. So the app actually does more than just a second screen experience. It actually allows you to view basic videos or game clips that other people have recorded. Still don't understand why there are already game clips on here, considering the console is not even out yet. Unless these are all from Microsoft and they just decided to throw some up here that uh, might seem cool to put up for people to test out the app. And then you see this arrow here that you can view different things like uh, my clips, community clips, and I'm pretty sure there will also be like friends clips later on, so you can view the clips just in your friend, just from your friends. So when we go back here, you can either press the home button or just hit this back button. We'll just hit the back button. And if you want to go back to game details, you click that. I'm just going to continue to hit back, and then you can see more achievement progress challenges game clips, uh, related content, so related games, movies, whatever it is, uh, apparently these are just all games here, uh, you can view all of that, um, images, so if you want to view high res images, you can do that, you see the various images throughout it, it looks pretty cool to me, uh, the images are pretty nice quality, this is giant X button on all the images, so you can just hit X and you'll never have to like try to figure out how to exit out, like a lot of people I've heard had with uh, Windows 8. Um, it's just a really nice thing you can see the developer Crytek and stuff like that so let's go all the way back home and back to the main screen here now the main screen if you've seen the Xbox dashboard in fact if you've seen the Xbox one dashboard you'll notice exactly that uh, this main screen of the app smart glass Xbox one smart glass highly resembles the dashboard of the Xbox one for instance, your pins are on the far left, same thing as on the Xbox One. And then there's other stuff, you know, as you go right. So you can see Rise is there, right there. And then basically the most popular things are right here. So when we go back, uh, obviously you got to connect to Xbox One to view more. So feel you will always know that I will do a review on this application once the Xbox One has released and I have gotten my hands on one. Uh, which I will be getting. I hope to get it by this Friday or hopefully this weekend. So you'll see one hopefully by Monday, a video, the review, the official review by Monday from me. Um, but it's not too much you can do here. You know, you can you can click Skype and then you can play it on Xbox One. Um, you can view various things here, unpin, pin stuff. Uh, so like if we hit Skype and we hit play on Xbox One, it's gonna tell me to type in my IP address, which I don't have. Xbox One, so that won't even work. Um, you can also click the music, and you can say play and snap, which basically will mean that, as you can see this icon here, it'll snap it to the right side of your screen while on your Xbox or your TV screen. So that way you can uh, play your game, watch TV, and then you'll have Xbox music playing on the side, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, same thing for SkyDrive, play and snap. You can view all your SkyDrive files right there. This SkyDrive uh, won't exactly be, you know, as, sorry about that, <laughs> won't exactly be, um, it won't exactly be as productive as the ones on every other platform, mainly because you're on a console, you're on an entertainment console, um, chances are it's for if you saved pictures or videos on there, you'll be able to view them there, but that's about it, you won't be able to, like, uh, type up word files and stuff like that or just look at your Microsoft Office files on there just expect the same experience that you have on your Xbox 360 the type of stuff you can do on it on this one and maybe a little bit more functionality clearly you also notice on the sc home screen here that you have blu-ray player and then just a whole bunch of pins here that you can add and take away if you decide to want to uh, now we're on this screen we already got to my profile so now you can just view achievements now unfortunately it does not actually show me uh, the achievements that I currently have from Xbox 360 and Windows 8 games or in Windows Phone games. It just 
shows nothing here except for my gamer score which is pretty low don't judge me <laughs> but uh, when I do get an Xbox one again uh, I'm pretty sure it, what it does is it will um, start aggregating all the games I play on Xbox one on this application uh, it'll just list them it won't show the Windows phone games or the Xbox 360 games or the Windows Windows 8 games but it'll simply just show Xbox one titles which I kinda wish that they would just let you view all of your achievements uh, all of your achievements from any platform that has Xbox sign in uh, I wish you could just do that and then also you see feature challenges yes they have challenges now um, from various games there obviously there are seven days left on Need Speed Rivals clearly you'll have only two days left because uh, on this one because um, Need for Speed Rivals does not come for Xbox One until the 22nd so you're out of luck same thing for this one you only have a few days from that because still don't know why this thing has this uh, doesn't have has time remaining already when the console is not even out yet so people won't even get a chance to really have to their chance at doing it but most people who probably play FIFA I guarantee they will have more than this amount of online matches so you guys won't have an issue now you can see progress on other games that I have um, you can see uh, Dance Central 3 some progress you can see last time it was played uh, Halo Spartan Assault you can see it's a Windows title uh, Angry Birds Star Wars 2 this was a Windows phone title I don't know why there's no um, there's no picture here but hit this dot to continue more of these dots and you can just pretty much view all of the different games that you played on here you can see the games that I played um, quite a few I have, I have quite a lot of games actually I don't know why that it's stopping right here because I have played a lot more games than just this but aside from that it's it's pretty nice so let's let's just take a look at one last thing with the achievements side uh, the progress side you can view the achievements this is how it looks like when you view the achievements we want to view this achievement uh, you can't actually click on it but it'll make the animation that you can click on it so that's kinda interesting so let's let's go back home hop back home and then you can view the friends basically the friends is just your friends just like that um, it's pretty straightforward uh, game clips I don't have any game clips so I there's no reason to show you guys uh, messages I don't have messages right now but to compose a message you would just click this plus button here and then you would just click this uh, portrait button with the plus on it to go to your friends list and just tap as many friends as possible and then their portraits will be listed here I won't show you the friends my friends list simply because of their privacy reasons you know I don't want them to have their names exposed like that but you can see you can type in you know whatever you want and then send the message hit cancel it's pretty nice looking um yeah it's 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 a pretty nice looking application last thing that I'll show you guys though is how to pin stuff I'm pretty sure you've noticed on across this review so far or not this review this uh, first look so far that um you can pin stuff and you've noticed the button that says pin so like if we want to pin Dead Rising 3 click on it and then it says pin when we hit pin when it says unpin that means you got it's already pinned and you can unpin it clearly now we go all the way to the left side and Dead Rising 3 is right here so that allows you to just jump right to it and hit play it says companion available that means there's a companion uh, application for it I'm not gonna get into that right now because again I don't have an Xbox one so Dead Rising 3's companion thing along with any other companion uh, app support thing will not work right now it'll just keep staying on the loading screen so I tried it earlier and it didn't it didn't work very nicely but aside from that yeah this has been a first look for the Xbox one smart glass on Windows 8.1 uh, you can pick it up right now it's currently it's only available on Windows 8.1 and also Windows Phone 8 so you can pick it up right now check out the stores and pick it up it's free sign in and just reminisce at what you're about to experience this Friday this has been Quaker from Next Gen Windows and I'll catch you guys later peace